Welcome to our lecture online. Here for the last problem on this set, we have another one of those table problems where we're trying to fill in all the missing quantities that we're looking for. These are of course all degrees and notice they give us two pieces of information. They give us the measure of the arc from A to D to C, so this full measure right here is 120 degrees and they give us the measure from A to B which is 40 degrees and they give us one hint that A is the midpoint of the arc from D to A to B which means that the measure of this must equal the measure of that and so therefore we know that this must be 40 degrees right here and that means that this here is 120 minus 40 which is 80 degrees so now we're probably ready to answer the questions for part A for part B of course we're going to have to change the number somewhat First, we're trying to find the measure from C to A to Q. So we have C, A, Q. So we need to know this angle right here. So let's make a note of that. This is the angle we're looking for. And notice that that will be half the measure of this arc right here. Now the total distance or the total arc in, in degrees is 120. So this angle here would be half 120 or 60 degrees. The measure from D to B to C. So we have D, B, C. That's this angle right here. Notice we know this arc length right here is 80 degrees. This must be half that. Therefore, the, the angle for this, the measure for that angle would be 40 degrees. Measure from A to E to B. A, E, B. That's the measure, that's this angle right here. Look for this angle, AEB. That would be half the sum of these two. So when we add these two together, we get 120. Half of that would be 60. And finally, the measure from C to P to Q, C, P, Q. That's this angle right here. And that angle would be half the difference between this minus that. So this here is 120 degrees, this is 40, take, the, take 40 from 120 gives us 80, half of that would be 40 degrees. Alright, so now we're done with A, let's go on to B and let me change the color of my pen. Alright, so now they give us, well we should probably get rid of all these numbers because they're going to be different now, so let's change this, let's change this, Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of this, and we're good. All right, so for the second set, they give us the following, that the measure from A to D to C, ADC is 132 degrees. That's all the way from A to C. And the measure CPQ, CPQ is 37 degrees. So this is given to us as 37 degrees, so now we need to find everything else. All right, so let's call this angle right here, or this measure, x degrees. We don't know yet what it is, but we do know that this would be half the difference between this and this. So we're looking for, we can say that 37 degrees is equal to one half the difference between 132 and 37 degrees. Let's see here. So multiply everything by 2, we get uh, 74 degrees. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, nope, I'll take that back. Uh, this should be x degrees. This is the unknown right here, right? It's 132 minus the unknown. Take half of that and we get 37. So multiply everything by 2, we get 74 is equal to 132 minus x. So therefore, x degrees is equal to 70, uh, 132 minus 74. So subtract 130, 70 from 30 gives us 60, that gives us 58 degrees, 58, that's 120, yep, that's correct. So this now becomes 58 degrees, which means since this is the same arc length, this is 58 degrees as well. All right, so that goes here. Measure from A to B is 58 degrees. The measure from C to A to Q, C, a, Q would be half 
the measure that we have here, which is 132, so half of 132 would be 66 degrees, right? So we have CAQ, that's this angle right here, and this measure, the total measure from here is 132, that would be half of that, or 66 degrees. Measure DBC, DBC, that's this angle right here, so we need to have this measure. So what is this measure here? Well, we know that the total distance, the total angle is 132. We know this portion is 58, subtract 58 from that. What do we get? We get 74 degrees. 74 degrees plus 58, that's 132, yes. So, uh, so now, since we know this angle, this measure for that part of the arc, we're looking for a DBC, D, B, C, which is this, this will be half this angle, half of that angle is 37 degrees. And, well, I should have used red. Oh well, next time. Measure from A, E, B. So we have A, E, B. Now we know, need to know this measure. This measure should be equal to this measure. So, oh, not equal to that measure because it's not right out the center of the circle. So we can't use that rule, but we can say it's half the sum of these two. So if we take one half, 74 degrees plus 58 degrees, that is uh, one half times, that's 120, 132, which is 66 degrees, which means that the angle E here must be half the sum of those two, that would be 132, half of that 66 degrees, which goes over here. All right. So far, so good, I believe. Now I'm going to check to make sure that so far I've gotten the right answers because some of this is a little tricky. 58, 66, 37, 66. All right, and the first row, 60, 40, 60, 40. So far, so good. All right, next one. Now we're going to do C, so we need to get rid of all these numbers. And start over again. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of this, and get rid of this. All right. They do give us that this is 64 degrees, the measure from A to B. All right. So if this is 64 degrees, get rid of that. 64 degrees, then automatically, of course, we know that this must be 64 degrees as well. And what else do they give us? They give us the measure from A to E to B. A, E, B. They tell us that this measure is 82 degrees. Well, use black. 82 degrees. All right. So from that, we should be able to get this measure right here. If we call this X degrees, what we can do now is we can say that this angle right here, which is 82 degrees, is equal to one half times the sum of this plus this, which is 64 plus x. Multiply both sides by two, we get 164 degrees equals 64 plus x. Move that across, we get 164 minus 64, which is 100, so x equals 100 degrees. And that goes, where's my x? Right here, this is 100 degrees. All right, so the two combined would be 164 degrees. All right, now we come over here, we're doing part C, and we want to know the measure from A to D to C, which is, of course, the sum of these two, which is 164. And the measure from C to A to Q, C, A, Q, that would be half this measure right here, which is 164, half of that would be 82 degrees. The measure from DBC, so we have D to B to C, that's this angle right here, which would be half this measure right here, half of 100 would be 50 degrees. And finally this one here, CPQ, C, P, Q, that's this angle right here. We're looking for this angle right there. And that would be half the difference between this angle and that angle. So we have one half, 164 minus 64. 
which is one half a hundred or fifty and that goes in here okay now we're ready to do the last one so let's get rid of all the numbers again and we'll start over by the way we should probably check to see if we got those right so what did we get 104, 164, 164, 82, 50, and uh, without my glasses, I don't see those little numbers anymore. And 50, 50 and 50, yep, 82, yep, so far so good. All right, last one, part D. Um, let's see, 71, the measure from C to A to Q. So C, a Q. This measure right here is 71 degrees, which is half the measure of this. So that means that this would be 142. And that's one of the questions they want to know, right? They want to measure from A to D to C. So if this angle C A Q is 71, then this here would be twice as much or 142. They also give us that this is 49, so that C, P, Q is 49. So from C to P to Q is 49, which means that this would be half of this value minus this value. So let's call this X degrees. So what we can say now is that 49 is equal to one half the difference between the 142 and the unknown x. Multiply everything by 2, that gives us 98, is equal to 142 minus x, or x is equal to 142 minus 98, which is 44. So now we know that this here is 44 degrees, which means that this here is also 44 degrees, because they have an equal measure. All right, does that help us? We want to know the measure from A to B, which is indeed 44 degrees, and that's what we're looking for. Now, the measure from D to B to C, that's this angle right here, this angle, and of course this is not the X degrees, that was from the previous one. Now notice that this is 42, and this is 44, so the difference between those two gives us this arc length, which is therefore 98 degrees. 98 plus 44 gives us 142. If that's 98, then this angle from D to B to C would be half of this angle, or 49 degrees. And so that means this is 49. And finally, we need to know this angle from A to B, AEB. We need to know this angle right here. Now this angle is going to be half the sum of those two. So that means that the measure of the angle from AB is equal to one half, we have the sum of those two which is 98 plus 44 degrees. This is 142, half of that would be 71 degrees, and so that goes in here. Quick check to make sure we did not make any mistakes. So, 142, 44, 49, and 71. And that is correct. So therefore, this is how it's done.